welcome back to Cardiac Radio for Teens. Now that it's summer, we're all expecting everything to be relaxing and stress-free, but sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes there's even some stress and some drama, even in the summer, when it should be fun. In the summer, teens get stressed about who they're going to hang out with, um, how their bikini body, per se, is going to look what stories they're going to have to share when they go back to school, if they're going to do something memorable that they can share to everyone and show how cool they are. Teens put in so much time and effort concerned about who they're hanging out with, how popular they're going to be, how pretty they're going to be. But why? Why does any of that matter? Why do we do that? Just because it's summer, it doesn't mean it's different than any other time of the year. No matter what time of year, teens always feel pressured to fit in and to be popular and cool and pretty. But why? Why do teens do that? What does it even mean when teens say they want to be pretty and cool and fit in? What does that even mean? Most likely and most times, the the definition of pretty and popular and cool are much, much different than what they really truly should mean. God made us all special and unique and pretty, so how come we are trying to find, to fit in, to find other people who think we're pretty, but when God made us all unique and pretty ourselves? And that's because when teens are trying to be pretty or cool, it's not the definition that we know and that we should use. It's a different one. When teens talk about being pretty or cool, it's most likely talking about if they have the trendiest clothes, or if they're doing the latest makeup style, or for boys, if they're playing all the coolest sports, or if they watch the football game, whatever it is, that's what teens are defining as being cool and pretty and fitting in, having memorable stories over the summer, going to parties, but why does any of that matter? But it's easier said than done, right? We all want to feel like we belong, like we're cool and that we're fitting in. And it's easy to say, why does it matter? But sometimes it does matter to us. As teenagers, none of us are perfect. None of us know exactly what we want to do yet or who we want to be or what do you want to be when you grow up? That's always the question. And it's sneaking up upon us because we're growing up and sometimes we still don't know the answer. So a lot of teens, they're just trying to be accepted into something. They just want to be able to fit in. So maybe they know, they get an idea of something they want to do when they grow up or who they want to be, what their personality is going to be. So lots of teens, they feel like the safest way to find out or to do something, to get something accomplished, is to just fit in with everyone else because that seems to be working for some people, right? So sometimes it's easy to just say, oh, let's just go fit into the crowd. But fitting into the crowd isn't always what's truly you and what you truly feel and what you truly want to do. Some teens, they may feel like they don't get enough attention in other things they're involved in, in school, at home, or whatever it may be. They don't feel like they get enough attention. So maybe fitting into the crowd and doing some crazy stuff will get them attention. And that's what they're seeking for because they don't know what else to do. There are millions of different reasons why people feel the need to fit into crowds or to be the picture-perfect pretty that people describe. But one of the main issues like now, currently, is social media. Because everything that happens on social media basically defines what we do in our lives. Now everyone's posting stuff of their cool summer adventures and when you're doing nothing, you're trying to think of something that you're going to do that's going to also be spectacular, also be amazing. But why does it really matter? Why are we competing for awesome stories or to fit in to have the coolest summer? Social media now is also defining what's pretty versus what is not because One famous celebrity posts something wearing a terrible outfit that no one would think is pretty, per se. But yet, just because they posted it, now that's the latest trend and now everyone has to go buy it. And now having that clothes and having that type of makeup is the prettiest thing. But think about years ago when there wasn't social media and people, celebrities didn't, just post a picture every five minutes of what they wanted the next trend to be and everyone desperately ran out to buy it. Think about times when 
we weren't so focused on every little second and every little detail of everyone's life. For one, it was probably easier to fit in then because the trends didn't change so fast. Now with social media, there's so many different trends, so many things going on, it's hard to keep up with it all. And now, currently, all the trends aren't for everyone. Some people may like the current latest trend, and that's good for them, and they should go for it. But if you don't like it, you shouldn't be... You shouldn't feel like you have to go like it and you have to go buy that shirt or that makeup or whatever it is because you can find your own style and you can go and enjoy that and find other people who enjoy that. There's so many people in the world that not everyone is one specific type of people that we're trying to fit into. We can find friends anywhere who actually enjoy the things that we enjoy. Just for um, one little message here from the Daily Book of Positive Quotations, this one's called Simpler Times. Firelight will not let you read fine stories, but it will warm you and you won't see the dust on the floor. The most luxurious homes are no more comfortable in a snowstorm than a warm, dry cabin in the woods. The nicest of life mean little when our needs are simple. Warmth when we're cold, food when we're hungry, sleep when we're tired. We wish for so many things that we think will bring us happiness. Yet we, found, we often find ourselves looking back fondly on simpler times. What small things in life bring me pleasure? I will recognize them today and be thankful for them. So that quote's really showing us how we try and have the best house, the best car, the best whatever it may be. But sometimes in the end, it doesn't really make a difference because no matter which house you're in, you're still warm. If you're tired, you still get sleep. If you're hungry, there's still food. And that simple stuff is what truly matters. And sometimes we get so excited to get something that's the latest trend. And we're so excited, we're so excited. And then once you get it, it, it doesn't really mean anything to you. And you don't understand what was so exciting about it. Like, I know, for one, that since I just got my driver's license a few months ago, everyone in my grade, it's it's the grade in junior year, everyone's starting to get their license, and everyone's so desperate to drive and to have a car, and to just be able to go out without having your parents to drive you. And everyone's so excited about getting your driver's license, getting your driver's license. And then finally, when you get your driver's license, you realize now that, Everyone drives, and now it's not cool anymore, and now you have to drive yourself everywhere instead of your parents driving you, and that's it. And then all that hyping up that was happening, it just kind of all falls apart because now you're like, oh, now I can drive, that's it, and it's over because now everyone can do that, and it's a normal thing, it's nothing special anymore. And there's so many examples of these things that we we get so excited about and social media makes such a big deal about but then when it's finally happening we're like oh that was it and we're kind of disappointed because all that all that craziness about it wasn't really real when we experienced it ourselves another example i have is um the junior prom in my school everyone not all schools have junior prom but we have both a junior prom and a senior prom and everyone is so excited about it. It's the biggest thing, finding a date, getting the dress. There's so much stress and drama that goes on around it, but everyone's so excited for it. And then you get ready. You're all, you get your hair done, your makeup, your nails. You put on your dress, your shoes. Everything's all ready. And then when you actually get there, it's just a normal, like, party with your friends. And <laughs> it wasn't at all as exciting as anyone thought it would be. Not that it wasn't fun, it was fun, but just all the stress and the drama and all that we thought it would be because of social media and what everyone else says, that when you actually experience for it for yourself, it's not always the same. And you realize that you could have been just as happy not having so much stress over it. And there's also other things that people may be scared to do because they're scared that it's not going to fit in with other people with what the popular crowd is doing or they're not going to look pretty if they wear that but sometimes it really doesn't matter at all you may think that everyone's going to be like oh ew they do that or they do that but in reality 
some of those activities, no one's even going to say anything to you about it. I know for one that in some, like, movies and stuff like that, when they show, like, the nerdy kid, they're always, like, they always, like, play an instrument, and they're always, like, reading and studying. But I know for me, I'm in orchestra, and I play the violin, and there's so many other people in my grade and other grades that play instruments, and no one popular or anything says anything about it. No one cares if you play an instrument or not. But sometimes in movies and in older stuff, it may depict someone who plays an instrument as nerdy and unpopular. But really, at least around where I live, that's not a big deal at all. So sometimes you just need to go out of the box and do it because something you may think that's really going to hold you back and make you different from everyone else and you're not going to fit in, most of the time it's not going to make a difference at all. So you should take that little risk and just jump into it. And if you wanted to do something like that, try it because no one's going to make fun of you and say something because maybe lots of people do it. Like at my school, the orchestra and the band, it's huge. There's so many people who do it. So maybe if you do want to play an instrument but you think it's you think people will think you're not cool or something, maybe you should just try it and you'll be surprised that you'll make new friends and it won't even matter being popular and those popular people won't say anything about you playing an instrument. As much as people say this, it really is truly about being yourself because these people that we're all with, that we're trying to impress, trying to fit in with, we're going to be gone in a few years, off to colleges, off to colleges, all in different directions, and we're not even going to see these people who everything we did was just trying to impress them or to trying to fit in with them. So it really is about being ourselves and taking the opportunity because once we're, once we're in college, once we're older, we're going to realize, oh, why didn't I just join that club when I wanted to? Or I should have done that when I could have. There's so many things that we should just do now while we have it before we're older thinking back on how we should have done it, but we didn't because we tried to fit in. And I'm not saying that everything you do, you're not going to be judged because this this generation is very judging and we like to judge everything that the other people do. And sometimes we don't ju even judge what we do, but we judge everything the other person does. So sometimes you are going to face critics and people who tell you that you're a nerd or that that's not cool or that you don't fit in or what kind of clothes are you wearing. But those people, they're probably just jealous that you're able to stand up for yourself and do what you actually want to do while they're stuck there just following the trends of everyone else and not truly being themselves. And if those people, if they are being mean to you and let's bullying you on like a small level they're not truly your friends because your friends your true friends are the ones who are going to accept you whoever you are whatever you're doing whatever you want to do of course as long as they're good things because if they're your true friends if you're doing a bad thing they'll tell you to stop right away we may think that being popular means having a lot of friends and everyone liking you but it's just not possible for everyone to like you and to have a lot of friends. But you will have a few true friends who will, if they're your true friends, they're going to accept you for whatever you like to do, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to wear, how you want to express yourself with your hair, your makeup, whatever it is. Those true friends are the people that are going to stick with you no matter what. I'd like to read another message now called The Value of Friends. True friendship consists not in the multitudes of friends, but in their worth and value. We like to be the life of the party, to have a calendar filled with social events, to have many friends clamoring for our attention. We like to feel wanted. The more people who seem to like us, the better. Still, we recognize who our true friends are, and we don't have so many of these. They are the friends who don't wait to ask what they can do when we need help. They're the friends who tell us the things we don't want to hear, but need to hear anyways. They're the friends we, who know us in both our good and bad moments and love us for who we are. I am lucky in having true friends. I will be a true friend as well. So sometimes 
we want to fit in with a whole group of friends and have everyone like us but it's just not possible no matter who you are it's not possible for everyone to like you even celebrities like Taylor Swift or Selena Gomez, whoever it is, even those people have people who don't like them. Even the people who seem to be the popularest people that are, are alive, even they have people who go against them and don't like them. Even Jesus had people who went against him and who didn't like him and said bad things about him. So the world's not perfect, and we're kind of far away from that, but if we just forget about those people who are being cynical and critical about us because there are going to be those people but there's also those people who are close to us and who love us and who are truly going to be our friends and support us through everything as much as we try to fit in we have to realize sometimes that fitting in isn't always what we have to do it's not the only thing. It's not the only option. We can be ourselves and do what we want to do. And when we're doing what we're wanna, we want to do, we're going to be so much happier than just following the crowd and doing whatever they want. Something I found really interesting when I was researching this is that the people in schools and the young kids who always try and fit in and are trying to be popular and get in that crowd and to have the perfect body and be pretty and whatever it is those people they they actually turn out to fall into bigger problems when they're adults these people who spend so much time trying to fit in and to be popular they're actually more likely to get involved with the drugs and alcohols and alcohol and lead in it lead into bigger problems in the future because since they were trying to fit in so much they got it started on drugs and alcohol and partying at a younger age because they were just trying to fit in and then that's going to impact you for your whole life and sometimes these people can't get out of it and it truly negatively impacts them so sometimes when people try and fit in too much, when they're just trying to do anything and everything possible to fit in, it's not helping them at all, and it's really going to hurt their future if you lead into those drugs and alcohol problems. If you haven't been invited to one of those crazy parties or crazy things happening all the time, I don't think that's a bad thing, because neither have I, and that's really how we're helping ourselves, helping our futures, because we're not getting involved in those drugs and alcohols and causing worse problems for our future. So maybe staying home that night to study instead of going to a party is helping us so much in our future that we're really going to be thankful for later. But that doesn't mean if we want to have a good future, we can't go out and have a good time with our friends, our true friends, or even go to a party. But if we go to a party, we should realize who we are. What do I want to do? What is truly me? And you can realize and know the good and bad in our choices and to make good choices when we're there. Do you want to drink just because everyone else is or just take a glass of water instead? And so you can even go to the parties, but have a good time and be safe and do have good choices and still be fitting in in a way, but also standing out and being yourself and speaking up for yourself. And this is especially important as we're leaving high school, because lots of us, we've just been trying to impress the same crowd of people, because at least in my town where it's small, we come from three elementary schools and then we all smush into one middle school and one high school. So from sixth grade on, we're with the same group of people all the time, all those six years that we have left. And we're with those same group of people, so we're just trying to impress the same group of people. But when we go off to college, we're all going off our different directions, and you probably only know one or two people at the most from your hometown school, and everyone else is going to be new. So then there's going to be more challenges of trying to fit in with different groups of people at college because you're trying to impress them. You're trying to make a good first impression. But try and find the good people who truly connect with you. When you're going to college, 
there's going to be other people who enjoy what you do, but there's also going to be people who are there for different reasons. Like, if I want to major in mathematics, but someone's there majoring, or they're majoring in something, but their main, um, their main focus is sports, we're obviously not going to have a lot to connect with because they're going to be so focused on sports while I'll be so focused on academics. Which isn't a bad thing. If they want to do sports, that's great. But that probably won't be the group of people which we fit in with. But there are going to be other people who are having the same interests as us. And there's so many opportunities and options of groups you can join. Because especially in college, the clubs and the amount of people that you'll meet is so great that there's bound to be people that you truly connect with. I just went on a college visit and they were talking about how how many clubs and stuff they had at the school and they even had a squirrel feeding club to feed the squirrels at the park so basically that goes to show that no matter what you're interested in there's other people who are interested in that if you like to feed squirrels apparently there's other people who are interested in that and there's a club for that so there's and there's so many other types of clubs and if there's not a club you can make some club you can make a club and find people who are also interested in that so there's always a group that you can fit into naturally without having to be someone else the way you are yourself you'll find some you'll find people who you can fit in with and who will think you're cool and pretty just by being who you are Life's not perfect, and there are going to be people who don't like us and who don't agree with what we say, but we kind of have to ignore those people and focus on the people who do like us, who like us for who we truly are and who accept us and who tell us good things about us or tell us tell us stuff to correct what we're doing, saying, no, 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 that's wrong, you can't do that, but in a good way, in a friendly way, just trying to help you. Instead of fitting into being this popular crowd we need to try and fit in with a crowd of people that is like us and that way fitting in will be effortless because we're just being ourselves and they're being ourselves and we connect with each other so then you'll fit in with a group of people effortlessless instead of dressing and doing makeup and doing sports and doing everything else that other people are doing that you don't like just to fit in with a crowd of people that you can connect with. I'd like to read one more message to kind of end this off, and it's titled, Being Happy. Now and then, it's good to pause in our pursuit of happiness and just be happy. Happiness is more than just having good times. We spend a lot of money and effort looking for a good time buying sports equipment, going out to eat, getting tickets to events. Activities like these can provide happiness, but they aren't the only thing that will make us happy. Rushing around to get place to get to places and events can be stressful. And when we get the bills for these activities, our hearts can sink. We can be happy without spending money or rushing around or even leaving the house if we want to. A happy day may mean staying home with people I love, enjoying simple pleasures that don't cost me anything. Being happy, exactly what the message was saying, is being with the people you love and doing stuff you enjoy together. You don't have to go out and buy the fanciest stuff, go to the fanciest sporting events, do all this stuff to fit into a crowd of people who you don't truly connect with. You can just fit in with people who are like you and who like you and you like them and you can fit in and do stuff that you guys truly like and sometimes that can just be hanging out and watching tv or hanging out and talking and doing simple things we only have a few years left before we're all in different directions all doing different things with our lives and all of none of that's gonna matter none of it is who went to the movies that day or who went shopping that day who got that shoe the other day None of that's going to matter when we're adults and we all have jobs, or even in college when we're so far away from each other. So, with for me, it's the last year. For high school students, it's the last summer. For seniors, I mean, it's the last summer. For freshmen, it's the next four years. Whatever it may be, there's only a few years left. So, 
make the most of it and just have fun instead of trying to fit in and do everything that other people are doing. Just be yourself and have fun with the rest of these few years before we're welcomed into the real world. So this summer, instead of trying to to do stuff that impresses other people, to have some magical, adventurous story to tell when you get back to school, just have fun. Just do what you want to do and enjoy the summer before school starts again. If you all have any questions, comments, ideas, anything at all that you'd like to talk about, you can contact me at Kardec Radio for Teens at gmail.com and I'll answer relatively quickly. I'm Bia. Thank you all for listening. This has been Kardec Radio for Teens. Thank you all for listening. <laughs>